We started off with some chilly conditions this morning. Stepping back in time from RDU, you can see the skies brightening quickly. and We've seen blue skies overhead throughout the morning and temperatures have warmed up about 20 degrees from where we started off. A few very high cirrus clouds. These are just made up of ice crystals way up in the atmosphere. They're not even really going to filter the sun for the rest of the afternoon. So we are going to see full sunshine and temperatures are going to warm up almost 10 more degrees. We're at 53 degrees right now officially in the triangle. Some other perspectives, it's 56 degrees right now in Chapel Hill. Another one of those days with nice low humidity and that means the blue of the sky matches the blue of the seats at Kenan Memorial Stadium. Looking good from Goldsboro as well. You're one of the warm spots across central North Carolina. You have made it up to 59 degrees as of the noon hour, almost up to 60. But right now, everybody is in the 50s, between 50 on the nose in Henderson, and well, this map showing 56 degrees in Goldsboro, so some conflicting information there. 59 degrees in Rayford, 54 Rocky Mount Roanoke Rapids, kind of the middle ground along with the triangle at 53. You're up to 55 degrees in Clayton and in Benson. Our temperatures will warm up to the low 60s. Lots and lots of sunshine for the rest of the day. And then we drop off after the sun goes down, down into the upper 40s by 10 o'clock, but not dropping too fast the rest of the night. A little bit of cloud cover. Now, tomorrow's still going to bring us plenty of sunshine, but winds out of the southwest are going to lock in some of that warmer air. And we're going to end up in the low 40s by early tomorrow morning, about 10 degrees warmer than the temperatures we started off with this morning. Had the first frost and light freeze of the season in some spots this morning, but we're going to be well, up and down with our temperatures as we head through the rest of the week. Keeping an eye on the tropics, not the Atlantic, not the Gulf of Mexico. We have to zoom way out to the Pacific to find Hurricane Willa. This is a Category 5 hurricane. That's the top of the scale. This is a powerful storm with 160 mile an hour sustained winds moving to the north. And you can see that very well defined eye, very compact storm right there, which means it's very organized. It's going to move to the north and then take a right turn and make landfall on the west coast of Mexico. Let's put it in motion with Futurecast and show you where that moisture is going to go because the hurricane itself falls apart once it makes landfall and encounters the mountains. But the moisture well, that persists in the atmosphere and some of that is actually going to roll on the Gulf Coast, get caught up in the southern branch of the jet stream and head towards us by the end of the work week. So we are going to see a good chance of rain developing by the time Friday rolls around. But between now and then, our rain chances are going to be pretty non-existent for the next several days. The temperature outlook, we showed you this last week with the temperature outlook for December, January, and February. But in case you were just on hiatus, do want to emphasize that we're looking for near average temperatures with above average precipitation for the wintertime months. But hey, we're still only two thirds of the way through October. We've got a little ways to go before we can focus too much on winter. Let's take a look at the seven day forecast and it does include dry weather today, tomorrow and again on Wednesday. Some ups and downs to our temperatures, low 60s today, low 70s tomorrow, back to the low 60s on Wednesday and then only upper 50s on Thursday. Those rain showers on Friday are going to be cold rain showers. High temperatures only make it up into the low 50s. That best chance of rain probably a little bit later in the day Friday, lingering into the first half of Saturday. The weekend kind of a work in progress right now. I think Sunday is the better half of the weekend for any outdoor activities, but we'll keep an eye on that. It's a long way down the line in forecasting terms. Still time for things to go either way.